In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the new data discovery mechanism within Test Data Manager 4.5. Data discovery helps you discover and visualize relationships between tables and data sources, so you can better understand data usage in your environment. By the end of this demonstration, you'll be able to identify all table relationships in your data sources. Primarily, a test data engineer defines connection profiles, creates an environment for data sources to be scanned, and performs a data discovery scan. A test data engineer is also referred to as a TDE. Here's the Test Data Manager portal. It is also referred to as TDM portal. I have logged in as a TDE. A person with administrator privileges has already created a project with a specific version for me to work on. When I press Modeling, the software shows quite a few options, out of which, for data discovery, I only need environments and data discovery. Step one is to add environments for which you want to perform data discovery and discover table relationships. Here I click New Environment, and now I will enter a name and description for the new environment. For demonstration purposes, I'll add two data sources, credit card and travel and I will select the corresponding connection profiles, then click Save. The new environment, Demo, is created. Here I can select the demo environment and perform the data discovery scan. Step two is to exclude any specific database, schema, or table from the data discovery scan. There are some system-level databases and schemas that are automatically excluded from the data discovery scan. For this demo, I will exclude all tables in the environment that end in sys. So here, I'll enter star sys and click scan. When I click scan, the data discovery scan begins. After the scan is complete, in the left-hand side, you can see both the data sources that were scanned. I can expand here to see a list of all tables for each data source one at a time. All tables with relationships can be identified with the link icon. All table relationships are discovered based on foreign key matches or column name matches. You can also manually add table relationships. Here I am selecting Billing Account Table to see all discovered relationships. As you can see, all table relationships are listed on the right-hand side. And all these columns in the left have a key icon that signifies that these columns are foreign keys. These table relationships are an example of foreign key matching. Now I will select another table to view all discovered relationships for it. Here you can see that there is no key icon for any column. And again, all relationships are listed on the right-hand side. These table relationships are an example of column name matching. I can also manually add table relations. Now I can select this table and add a new relationship for it. Here you can select one of the related DBs for which you want to add a relationship. And here, I will select a primary column, a related table, and a related column to define the new relationship. Now I will click Done to save my changes. You also have the option of deleting all relationships from here. Here you can see the table relationship that I just added. You can also see an entity relationship diagram for an individual table. You can see that a column with relationships is presented in bold. And when I select a column, you can see the matching column in the other table. You can also expand the related table to see all columns present in the table. Now I will go back to the data model. You can also see an entity relationships diagram for the whole environment by changing the view from here. This is the Entity Relationships Diagram for the whole environment. It is also known as an ER diagram. Here you can see the table names. You can also deselect a data source and hide all tables for it in the Entity Relationship Diagram. Here you can also select a table and view all its details. From the ER diagram also, you can add or edit a table relationship. If the data source changes at any point, you can rescan the data model. 
Using data discovery now, you have visualized the data in your data sources and have a better understanding of how your data is used. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble at the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.